So let's look at the example of evaluating the line integral over the closed loop C, which will be the circle of radius 2 centered at the origin of 2y minus 4 e to the cosine x dx plus 3x minus the square root of 1 plus y to the 4 dy. The form of the line integral suggests that we should use Green's theorem. And recall that Green's theorem says that the integral over the closed curve C of p dx plus q dy is equal to the double integral over the region D, which is bounded by C, of partial q partial x minus partial p partial y dx dy. So in our example, we have that p is 2y minus 4e to the cosine x. And that tells us that partial p partial y is just 2. We have that q is equal to 3x minus the square root of 1 plus y to the 4. And so partial q partial x is just going to be 3. Now we want to use Green's theorem. So we need to describe the region D, which is bounded by the curve C, recalling that C is the circle of radius 2 centered at the origin. The region D is described by x squared plus y squared is less than or equal to 1. And hence, since the region is circular, we want to use polar coordinates. So therefore we can write the double integral over d of partial q partial x minus partial p partial y dx dy as the integral from 0 to 2 pi of the integral from 0 to 2 of, well, partial q partial x is 3, partial p partial y is 2, so we'll have 3 minus 2, and then dx dy transforms to r dr d theta. Of course, this is just the integral from 0 to 2 pi of the integral of 0 to 2 of r dr d theta. There's no theta dependence, so we just have 2 pi times the integral from 0 to 2 of r dr. And then, of course, r integrates to 1 half r squared. And the final answer is just 4 pi.